In this video, I wanted to introduce another operation for matrices. This one's pretty simple. It's called the transpose of the matrix, the operation we call transposition. So imagine we have a matrix given by the formula A equals uh, the matrix whose ith j position is A i j. Well, the transpose of A, which will denote A to the superscript T, um, we're gonna, so if A is an M by N matrix, the transpose is gonna be an N by N matrix. Notice how that's sw swapped around. And the entries of A transpose are gonna be A, J, I. You'll notice that we swap the index around. And this is what the transpose does. The transpose is gonna swap the roles of columns and rows. The rows of A are gonna become the columns of A transpose. And the columns of A are gonna become the rows of A transpose. So rows and columns are gonna swap around. So an example of that, take the matrix A right here. A trans, so A here is a two by three matrix and it's transpose is gonna be a three by two matrix. The first, the first row of A becomes the first column of A transpose. And then the second row of A becomes the second column of A transpose. So the row becomes columns and columns become rows. Like so, we do the same thing for B. B is likewise a two by three matrix. Its transpose will be three by two. So we take the first row of B, that becomes the first column of B transpose. We take the second row of B, and that becomes the second column of B transpose. Or if you prefer, we take the first column of B, that's the first row of B transpose. We take the second column of B, that becomes the second row of B transpose. And we take the third column of B, and that becomes the third row for B. That's all there is to it. If you take a matrix C, for example, um, its first row, 2, negative 3, becomes the first column of C transpose. And then the second row of C becomes the second row, uh, uh, the second column of C transpose. And so this 2 by 2 matrix will turn into a 2 by 2 matrix. Another thing I want to mention is that when you compare a matrix with its transpose, the main diagonal doesn't change. So like when you look at A here, you get 1 and 5 as the main diagonal. Same thing for B here, you get the main diagonal of one and five. For C, your main diagonal is two and one. That stays the same. So some people like to think of it as following. When you take the transpose of a matrix, you're reflecting the matrix across this main diagonal. That's a good perspective to take here. And transposition is no more difficult than what we see right here. Now, there, I have to, I have to add one little caveat to that statement right there. In the case of complex matrices, so matrices over the complex field, um, it turns out that the transposition operation we just introduced is insufficient. So we have to propose an alternative for transposes, again, in the case for complex matrices. This will be more clear in chapter five why we need this alternative. But for complex matrices, we introduce the notion of the conjugate transpose. So again, A is an M by N matrix. The conjugate transpose, which will denote this as A star, this will be the conjugate of A transposed, where transpose still has the same meaning. You're gonna reflect across the main diagonal, but this line over the matrix, this is our, this is the complex conjugate operation. This is the operation where if you take a complex number, A plus B, you draw a line over it, you get the conjugate, you're gonna switch the sign of the imaginary component. And so this conjugate transpose will be a big role for complex matrices. So one thing I want to mention is that when we're discussing transposes of matrices, whenever that matrix happens to be complex, always, 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 with no exceptions, substitute the conjugate transpose in for the standard transpose. So let's take two complex matrices. One's two by three, that's A, and then B right here is three by three. So the conjugate transpose, A star, we're gonna take the first row of A, we're gonna flip it, that becomes now the first column of A star, but notice we took conjugates here, that A, our one minus two becomes one, sorry, one minus two I becomes one plus two I, and then three plus five I becomes three minus five I. You switch the sign, and a, neg a negative two I becomes a positive two I, and a plus five I becomes a negative five I. When you take the conjugate of six, that actually stays six. Because you can think of six right here, uh, six is six plus zero i, so it's conjugate would be six minus zero i, which is still just six. When you take the conjugate of a real number, it doesn't do anything. And then for the second row, 
the second row of A becomes the second column of A star, but you take conjugates again. So negative 2i, which is a purely imaginary number, becomes positive 2i. The conjugate of 0 is 0 because it's a real number. And then the conjugate of i becomes negative i. So you switch the sign of all the imaginary parts in addition to conjugating. Um, for b, if we want to compute b star, we could, we could actually think of it in terms of columns, right? So the first column of b becomes the first row of b star, but take conjugates. 2 minus 3i becomes 2 plus 3i. Negative i becomes i and 0 becomes 0. Uh, the second column of B becomes the second row of B star with also uh, taking conjugates. Zero is conjugate is zero, four is conjugate is four because those are both real numbers, but two minus two I becomes two plus two I. And then taking the third column, that will become the third row of B star. And then make sure you also conjugate. The most common mistake with these complex matrices is we forget to do the conjugate. The conjugate of two I becomes a negative two I. The conjugate of 1 plus 2i becomes 1 minus 2i, and then the conjugate of 6 is again 6. It's just a real number. And so that's how we do conjugates and, uh, and con uh, that's how we do transpositions for real matrices, and we do, uh, we do conjugate transposes for complex matrices. If we ever have to do transpositions over you know, any other field, we'll just take the regular transposition. This conjugate transpose is only going to be defined in the, for this series for complex matrices.